Hi guys, it's Lee from Anderton's here. Look who I found. Found Paul Reed Smith on his own booth, unsurprisingly. And um, we're going to go through some of the guitars, but I thought whilst we grab Paul for two minutes, Paul could just show me what his favorite guitar was that they've released at uh, NAMM 2014. So. All right, so first of all, thanks for doing this. That's all right. Se second of all, you guys have uh, an extraordinary, um, uh, uh, I don't know exactly how to say it, uh, experienced group of people selling guitars to your customers and I think that that's probably the most important thing I could say that you guys are the deal and they need to know that Very kind. and I well I've been in the shops and I know you guys and I've met all the uh, people that you have working for you and you've got a great crew and they need to know that because it's hard to know who to trust now yep in the business right all right so second we got an award yesterday for the Gary Granger Bay for the best bass of wow. the year, 2013, and they gave it to our five string, which I think is great. It's fantastic. I, we also got an award for our new S, for our S2s last year, yep. and you have S2s in the S2s shop. Okay. Great guitars, okay, yeah. okay, so it's half the money, and it's, it's the same people making it, yep. and it seems to work out. But you asked me quietly before we started this, what my favorite guitar yes. is. Okay, so I think this thing's extraordinary. Come on with me for a minute. Up to this. Oh. this is wild looking, right? I've already picked this one as my favorite. Yeah, right. So, you know, 80% of information is brought into people's eyes. And for this, this is just a, some sort of wildly stained, double stained blue purple monster, right? It's just beautiful. And it's a thick backed um, custom. So it's a custom with a thicker back like a McCarty. It, and it's something we're playing around with in private stock. That said, I want to make a point. It's the same bridge. It's the same nut material. It's the same drying uh, specs. It's the same ovens. It's the same setup, people. It's the same everything as the normal guitar. So what you have in your shop, mm. um, it wasn't the wood and a lot of the guitars you have weren't cherry pick, cherry pick, cherry pick, cherry pick. If they're, they're that we, curly. We took a limited edition custom 24 from yeah. Jez about three weeks ago, yeah. which is. Just Almost as good, identical the, the to this color. Yeah, it's right. probably this has got a bit of a burst, whereas yeah. the one we've got is is more right. sort of consistently colored in this way. Yeah. But um, we took some of those um, ones that are like the sort of the blue to green fades and everything. Yeah. Some stunning finishes. And, and so, to my point is, if somebody comes into a shop and they they want to spend, you know, uh, a third the money of this guitar, it's the same guitar. It's just not. It's, it doesn't have all the eye candy, right? Yeah. It doesn't have the, the outline birds with mother of pearl and power or whatever it is. But my God, you know, it still gets the same sound. It's the same thing. And so um, the instruments are segregated on the uh, exoticness of the woods in price, but yeah. they're not segregated in quality. No. And that's really yeah, important that. to tell, tell your customers. Um, how, how, do you, how much time are you spending just sort of, you know, doing the paint stuff I mean is, is this guys in your team that bring you stuff and say what do you think about this or are you actually there yourself kind of thinking I'm gonna try this dye and this wash and this burst and this stain and because it kind of some of the colors I started of some insane. of it I started some of it but most of it's done by the private stock team they have an idea of something they want to do and I, I give them a free hand I don't yeah. get in the middle of it I didn't come up with that the idea that you could stain a burst yeah. that was not my idea and Paul Miles and his team come up with these wild ideas, and I give them complete free reign to do it what they want to do because um, Paul's an art major from the Maryland Institute of Art, and oh, okay. he's figured out a way to take this um, beautiful education he has in art and apply it to guitars. So no, I, I some of it I I have ideas about. Some of it they bring to me, yeah. but at this point um, they're doing most of this wild stuff on their own. And I think it's awesome. No, I but I guess my point that it needs, if the guitar is costing somebody, you know, a tenth this cost, or it's costing them a third, or it's costing them, or you want this guitar, they should, they should all play as well. They should all sound as good. They yeah. should all be that. No, I think they do. Yeah. Uh, well, look, we're going to go take a look at the rest of the range now. Paul's a busy guy. He's got people to see. So brilliant that you've spared us a few minutes just to talk through your favorite guitar. Thank you very much. There's nothing more important than me talking to you. Give well, me a break. It's you guys. Come on. It's very kind of you to say. Yeah, pleasure. We see you in the UK soon. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna. Am I coming to the UK this year? Absolutely. There you go. That would be uh, yes. <laughs> that would be yes and uh, yes. Cool. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. Cheers, right, Paul. Nice.